Hi everyone and welcome to Adobe Max. All together Max. now. Oh. Hey. Here we go. Already <laughs> feeling my thunder. What is happening? <laughs> On the ukulele. This is Adobe Live, guys. Welcome to Adobe Max Chat. First of many sessions that we have prepped for you. Um, we're kicking off with the community here live in Europe as a way to highlight our favorite updates from Adobe Max, of course. Course. What a 24 hours it has been, Tim, isn't it? Oh, so exciting. I hope you, everybody has watched the keynote yesterday in the evening. I know I did. So I'm excited. This is what to I was going to start with. Features. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. I Emma. mean, come on. No, this is it. I mean, take, okay. take it away. Let's, let's rewind. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> let's rewind. We're doing so Hello, everyone. <laughs> All together now. <laughs> I don't think Welcome we can everyone. show this to anybody now. <laughs> This is the madness of Adobe Live, really. Um, and if you're registered for today's session, welcome. We're here on Behance. <laughs> and what a great decision you have done. Um, I'm with my guest, Tim the Best. And let us know in the chat if you've actually watched yesterday's keynote. Shantanu and our Chief Product Officer, Scott Belsky, as well. We had a great lineup of guests. Tim, how excited are you still about yesterday's keynote? So much, at least. That, that much, that, that, from the that, scale that of like yeah. my screen to yours, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, join us. I hope you're registered for tons of sessions, it's three days of content. And I wanted to tell you a little bit more about Max this year because it is quite a year for Adobe um, and for everyone in the creative community. I think it's pretty history making, I would say. Um, but thanks to all of you for turning up, you know, every day, watching live streams, connecting to each other, being part of this amazing community. Um, to create something on this scale over three days and still making Max happen is pretty outstanding. And it's more accessible than ever. We're starting, you know, in the Asia Pacific region with Japan, here in Europe, and then going all the way to the US with more live streams. So it's, you know, a pretty packed schedule for all of us. So quick things to remember, Max is free for the first time ever this year. There's 56 hours of content and zero time for sleep. And you have watched watch all of them, every single one. Absolutely. It's an epic marathon of creativity, Tim. We can't miss that out. <laughs> it's like a reality um, asylum. <laughs> and we love it. I mean, everyone's been up all night updating their apps, playing around with Illustrator on the iPad, Fresco on mobile, there's so much going on. Um, and we have to pick some highlights today, so that's going to be a tough one. But let us know if you've watched the keynote in the chat. I'm really keen to hear. Um, and yeah, some of us or some of you might know Tim and I from hosting usually on Adobe Live. But if you're new, I feel like we should pull up the schedule for the next couple of days. Oh, what a great a idea. I wonder if I've had something talk prepared. A bit about the like, plan. Ooh, yes, mm -hmm. I do. Look at that. Ooh, fancy. Look at us. I mean, this is quite the program we've got. Um, so we are going to be starting, obviously, today now with Tim. And just after this, you'll be able to join our lovely host, uh, Maddie, in the UK as well, who's going to be hosting a photography session on Lightroom and Photoshop with Toby. And then straight into illustration and lettering with Will, who's going to be talking a bit about Fresco. It's a really exciting update um, with Fresco Mobile. And tomorrow we're back at the same time with a little bit more. Um, Yulia will be on Illustrator. Some exciting updates as well with Illustrator on the iPad. And also a video with Joe and Matt. Joe and Matt are super hardworking. They always put tons of work in the stream, so I wouldn't miss that out. Um, they'll be on Premiere. And of course, we'll wrap things up with XD. The lovely ladies, Patricia and Melanie, will um, finish this show in style. So I'm really excited for all this content. Um, and yeah, make sure you are registered. So Tim, on to you. What do you have planned today? We have time for five Creative Cloud highlights. Off you go. <laughs> so yeah, um, I just thought that we could instead of just ditch the Creative Cloud and just uh, sing a bit. And just oh, okay, okay. You know, no. Tim, if we run out of time at the end, I'll just talk oh, about this moment. Yes, okay. <laughs> right, Creative Cloud, yay! Let's go. Let's start with um, Photoshop. Should we? Yes. Photoshop seems like a go great ahead. idea, I'm so let's do that. The chat. Ooh, let's go to Photoshop. So 
just in case you haven't seen this before, this is Photoshop. <laughs> Who knows? And um, I thought that we could jump in and check out some of the latest and greatest updates we got yesterday. So why don't we start with, ooh, I don't know, an easy one. Let's take this image here of this fine, uh, well, horse, I suppose. And um, when looking at this image, let's move it over a bit so you can see, I thought, wow, what a great photo. But I think this one, it could use a more interesting sky, don't you think, Emma? Like it's a bit... Oh, definitely. It's a bit dull, it's a bit boring. So how about we change that sky? <laughs> so how would you normally do that, Emma? Right, you would just go uh, ahead and manually select the horse. Uh, the, the, yeah, that, that well, horse. <laughs> you would select the background and try to mask it out. But what if? What if this could be just much more easy? And I'll tell you what it is. Let's go to Edit and Sky Replacement. And watch this. Ooh. 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 It's going to take a second and bam, pow, pow. Now we already have... Well, pr pretty good sky replacement, if I say so myself. And of course, I have picked in advance the perfect sky for a unicorn. Because if you look at that horn, it's technically a unicorn. And of course, it has to be a rainbow, doesn't it? However, I love it. I'm not quite happy with that. I saw a little horse. <laughs> you know, Tim, when you showed me this yesterday, you had a complete different image. So you're even surprising me. Like, what is... Well, I can show the other one if you like, but I thought this one would be more interesting. Love it, love it. We can jump into the other one if we have some time left. Right, but I think ooh, it could use a bit of more... I mean, it's a beach. It has to be like super sunny and warm and nice. So let's crank up the temperature. Let's make it warmer. 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 Ooh, perfect. Oh, that's a bit too much, actually. Let's dial it back. But we can make it also brighter. We can mess with the edge if we want to. We can fade it and shift it. But in this case, it's pretty much just the way it is. We can also flip the sky if we wanted to, which I don't. And let's, for this case, we want the screen because I want to make it brighter. And of course, I can adjust the lighting in the foreground. I can make it more hazy, less hazy. I can adjust the colors. So watch the beach, uh, the sand, bright. Dark. So this will adjust the foreground based on the sky in the background. And of course, just to make sure that this isn't the only image, there are some images that come with um, Photoshop 2021. But of course, you can use your own images if you like to. So let's say, ooh, I like this one more. Then yes, of course. And watch the foreground. It will change based on the background. Okay, perhaps not this guy. That's a bit too dark, I think. We'll stay with uh, this really wonderful intense, rainbow. <laughs> so, like awesome. So yes, I'll put two new layers. Yep, that's great. Because this filter is everything but destructive. If I open the layers panel, you can see, let me just give it a bit more space. You can see what's going on. It adds a group called Sky Replacement Group. The clue is in the name. And in this group, you have tons of adjustment layers, which you can edit anytime you like. So let's say, ooh, how about that's a bit too warm. Let's go back. And yes, we can make a quarter. We can even go in and adjust it manually like this. Ooh, look at that. Disco sky. It's, it's, right? So <laughs> pick the sky you like, pick the colors you like. And of course, if you're not happy with a mask, let's say, oh no, I see a bit of blue peeking out uh, through here. Mm -hmm. I could go into that mask and I could... Just get a brush and get a normal brush like this one and just, oh no, and white and just paint it in. And now the sky is fully showing through, which is a bit much. Yeah, okay, that's a bit too much for the sky. So, Tim, what happened? <laughs> well, the opacity and flow is a bit too high, I can dial it back and slowly paint in the correct sky like this Love see it. There you go. and i could spend nice. some more time to refine the mask if i wanted to but Love i would it. rather show you more features instead of just spending hours and hours that's fine and it seems like some of our viewers can't see the stream 
Which is weird because I there can. Is, I was going to go and direct towards the chat and some people say YouTube is working. Um, it seems that some of you are watching on Behance and it is all good. Um, Try refreshing, there. he says to the viewers that can't see the stream. <laughs> 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 Try refreshing, hey. I mean, it's and working Tim is like, I can see myself. Why? <laughs> Look, see, <laughs> it's working. <laughs> it's working, I can see myself. Um, right, okay. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the next one. And of course, by the way, Emma talked about this image, which I wanted to show uh, actually before. That's the one. But then I th uh, then I saw this image with a horse and Adobe Stock, so I thought, ooh, this has to be it. Wow. But just in case you wanted to see this one, I have already replaced this guy. And I actually showed this during a German stream, so if you remember this image, this guy is already has been already replaced by me. So this was the original. And, I and think we, we do can have joiners agree. from the German stream as well. I saw Andreas was in the chat. Refresh and, and doesn't work. Computer. Emma, what did you do? Ah, oh, BNC is all messed up. Okay, well then stay on YouTube for the moment and we will see if we can figure out what's happening today. Perhaps it's just... Interesting. The features are just too good for, for BNC. It's just too much. <laughs> all right. Well, I have an eye on the YouTube chat as well. So you're welcome to watch over there. Thanks, Tim. Right. But I don't want to do this again. So let's close it real quick and let's go into the next image. Let's open uh, uh, this one right here. Because I've talked also about this in the German stream, skin retouching, right? It's really tedious and it takes ages and it's difficult. And especially if you're a beginner, perhaps it's not the most easiest technique to learn. What if? What if it could be much easier? <laughs> what if it could be much more complicated? Yes. No. What if it's <laughs> Thanks, easier? Tim. Get right. out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's add more sliders and buttons and ukulele. Right, let's go to the new and fancy neural and this filters. Is, this is it, guys. Like Everyone is talking about this, playing around. I mean, yesterday in the keynote, we also played with that for a fair bit. Um, and it's going to be pretty big. And Behance is working for some people. Interesting. It is. Um, so, yeah. Like I'm me. Just it's working for me. All right. Okay. We will see if we can figure out what's happening. Okay. So, back to this. Neural filters, which is really difficult for, to pronounce for me. Neural filters. Neural filters. Ne ne okay. You, you can read it. It's right there. Come on. Right. Neural filters. So let's open it. It will take a moment. And right here, already selected, it says skin smoothing. Look, and you even have a preview image. How great is that? So let's, let's, let's check it out. Let's zoom in so you can see what's going on. And already Photoshop has smoothed the skin. And let me just preview that before and after and i think we can just move our cameras over so we can actually see more of that here we go and now i have just just two sliders <laughs> one slider ah, ah, ah. two sliders and using those two sliders i can dial in my smoothness and my blur and check that out even though i'm smoothing the skin you can see the shadows are much less obvious even though i'm doing that the texture still stays super sharp, right? I can see all the individual pores and all the, yeah, skin texture over here. So this all remains just fine. And I'm getting messages. Oh, maybe because of some, okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Refresh your cookies. <laughs> Do anybody cookies? It's about Christmas season, time for some cookies. Okay, so this is a really great way just to get started with skin retouching, perhaps if you're not used to frequency separation, which I will perhaps demonstrate at some point. But yeah, two sliders. And of course, yes, very satisfied. Oh, yes. And of course, yeah, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, yes. Tim, um, you're doing such a great job right now. I love this. I mean, you're using stock images, you're reviewing. I mean, this is... Well, isn't that great? All right, and of course, love there it. are other filters, and I would love to talk to you about that. So let's let's hop on over to a different image. Let's close it. Oh, I have to cancel it first. There we go. Back report. I have to close it. And let's go over to this Adobe, to this fine Adobe stock image, which you can download by typing in this number. Take a screenshot, quick. Right. And I really like this image. But you know, I would, her expression is a bit well, neutral, let's say, 
It's a neutral. So how about we just enhance the expression? How about that? Right. Okay, let's go get back to the neural filters. And just so you know, folks, this is a beta filter. This won't work perfectly. I will tell you that right now. Because under beta filters, the beaker icon, we have much more to choose. Some of them are not available yet, like a face cleanup or noise reduction. So you can say, yes, I'm interested. And then Adobe knows, ooh, you're interested. But for now, we have these filters, which I have already downloaded. And let's pick smart portrait let's enable it so now what's happening we have now ton of, tons and tons of sliders and they are something they they all do something that you normally couldn't do in photoshop so let's pick let's pick one of them how about uh, Yunya is saying make her really angry angry um, so okay. we have some yeah this, this is a request all right <laughs> let's make her angry but first before we make her angry we can also make her not angry by just sliding the slider in the other direction. And I would, before we do that, just want to show you something. It says right here, this filter processes image data in the cloud. Yes, because these are some really complex calculations and they do take some time. So we don't want to do that on your computer. They're doing that in the cloud. And because this is a really large image, I think it's about 8,000. It will take, oh, there we go. It will take a minute, but here we go. Now she's less angry. See, before after and notice this is not just like uh, in liquify just warping the features no this is actually changing them this is a slightly different mouth this is not just moving it so before no before after now let's make her angry fine i'm excited how this is going to turn out let's move it in the other direction and this is all machine learning that's powered by adobe sensei adobe so adobe sensei it's been Exactly. So it's been a huge focus this year um, across Macs and all the app updates. So yeah, really great. Oh, here we go. Look at that. And you can even see the teeth. How great is that? That couldn't be possible before. That wasn't possible. And the eyebrows have moved. And look at that. <laughs> Lovely. And of course, yes, there are some artifacts. Some itty bitty tiny, teeny tiny artifacts like this one right here. But you know, you can mask that out. For, and this is, of course, this is a beta filter, so th some things don't quite work. For example, the um, the facial age filter do, does have some issues with, let's make her younger, with uh, the hair. It will look a bit weird. See? It's a bit, yeah. Doesn't know what I to do with that. I think it's also, you can select different images where it works a little bit better as well. Yeah, of so course, but I, wanted, I didn't want to use like uh, the perfect image where it's, the light is perfect and everything. No, I want a real world example. So yeah, now it's a bit younger. You can see the chin is... <laughs> Thanks, Tim, for the reality check. <laughs> <laughs> and no, these filters are actually part of the release. They are not um, part of the beta release. They are part of the real Photoshop release. However, the filters themselves are beta filters. So some things might not work, like the hair, for example. Like Photoshop doesn't quite know what to do with that hair. See, of course, we could go in the other direction, but let's, uh, let's not... Yeah, right. And add some wrinkles. Let's not do that. Okay. And of course, there are some other more exciting features. Like, what if we could change the lighting of this? So let's do that. Let's uncheck facial age and move the light over to the left. Oh, no. This wasn't possible before. And you can see, instantly, now it's more light on the left. We could also move it completely to the left. And now the light should be, there we go, more on the left. Isn't that great? Imagine you were shooting uh, some photos of famous models and you can't invite them back. People will say, yeah, couldn't you just do it in camera? Well, sure, but sometimes you just can't. And this is one of these cases. So yeah, lighting, you can change the direction of the head, the hair thickness, the gaze, which means just where the eyes are looking, and so much more. And of course, this is just one of the amazing filters that are coming. Oh no, that are actually part of Adobe Photoshop right now. You can try them out right now. And of course, we can briefly look at some other filters like makeup transfer, which I don't have an image prepared for this one yet, but you can transfer makeup from another image to this one. We could use depth aware haze, which doesn't really make that much sense for this image since there isn't too much depth, but we can try it out anyway. Why not? Let's add some haze because clearly this image, what it needs is some haze. <laughs> Well, Tim, everyone's super excited in the chat already and saying this is amazing. So I'm really glad you're all enjoying this as well. You know, Thomas is saying this is a game changer. 
actually, this, this adds a really interesting thing. It actually, uh, surprise, surprise, it adds haze. Look at that. And you can Wonderful. Add, Just what it needed, you're right. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really make sense with the sewage. I know. But, ooh. Oh, okay. Sure. It softened the shadow. It made it more blue, more vibrant. I, I, I'm pretty surprised. I actually like this. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, why don't we... Yeah, why don't we save that out? But before um, we do that... I want to also draw your attention to colorize, where you can actually colorize black and white images, which doesn't make much sense for this image since it's already in color. You can also super zoom. Should we show that one? I feel like you're already on tip number 25, but we're... <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's... No, this is tip number two. This is just Photoshop. Okay. All right. All right. So we're actually talking about apps. So five apps. <laughs> Love this. But go Adobe for it. Adobe can't we're stop here. me. I will share all the tips. <laughs> Right. Okay. Then make, let's make it quick. Right. Okay. Super zoom. We can zoom in and just click on boop, 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 boop. We can drag it down and zoom into the face, for example. You can see, yes, enhanced image details. Yes, nice reduction. Enhanced face details. Yes. And it will take a second to chew through that data, which uh, let's remind you again this is a large image and my computer is chugging away. I'm losing frames. Well, that's great. <laughs> Lesson learned, don't stream on the same computer as you're doing your Photoshop demos. Oh dear. I think we have to wait that out. Do we? Okay. Should we cancel it? Oh no, what have oh, I done? Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay, let's cancel it. No, sorry. I shouldn't stream on the Too same much. computer. Like my OBS is just freaking out like, ah! Okay, let's stay with Death oh, Haze. Let's click OK, because I really want to show you that it is adding this on a new layer, which where it doesn't need <laughs> Tim, to Gareth anything. is saying, have you tried turning it on and off? <laughs> right oh, that's a <laughs> fantastic idea. Let's try turning it off and on again. And <laughs> welcome back. All together now. <laughs> You've created a mess, Tim. What a mess. <laughs> you said I would have to turn, try to turn it off and on again. I just did. Didn't work. <laughs> Right. Okay. So, all right. What tip are we on now? What's next? Let's let's move on to the next one. If this is all getting out of hand, <laughs> right? Okay. So, how about? I think we are done for now in Photoshop. So let's minimize it and let's go over to. Ooh, I don't know. InDesign. Yes, great idea. Let's go over to InDesign because I really wanted to show you one feature that I really like. <laughs> what a surprise! I wanted to show you a feature that I really hate. Ah, it's so awful. Yeah, like all the other ones you selected, but this Ooh. one you really like it. <laughs> yeah, the other ones, but don't, don't tell the other ones. I, I don't like them, but this one is great. <laughs> ah, so good. So let's move, let's use, which one should I use? Of course, let's use this one again. Here we go. And let's, no, actually, yeah, fine. Let's scale it up. And I made a mistake. I used the wrong image. Oh, no. Let's try that again. Let's turn it off and on again. All right. Here we go. That's better. Because I really just wanted to drag it in. That's it. And why is it pixelated? Oh, I know. Under view, display performance, high quality. There we go. That's better. And now I really would like to add some text, as you do, because this is my, oh, I don't know, uh, fancy magazine. Fans. Oh, that's a bit small. Hang on. Let's make that larger. Fancy magazine. And as all fancy magazines, they use serif fonts because, of course, they do. So now I would like to add some text, but I would like to wrap it around the subject. Well, this was possible before, just so you know. So let's just check a look over here. Text wrap, right? You could wrap text around an image before, mm -hmm. but the only issue with that was that it would wrap around the entire image so this bounding box well now if i add some text let's add one right over and now i need some demo text which i haven't prepared do i have some lorem ipsum oh this is the youtube interface interesting you're not supposed to see this <laughs> okay uh hipster ipsum because why not generate and copy and paste here we go. Demo text. 
<laughs> and now let's just go back to the image and click on this wrap round object shape. Nothing new there. Mm -hmm. However, if we now go into window text wrap, there's a new feature which is down here hidden in that drop down, which is select subject. Take a second and we'll look at that. Ooh, boom. Isn't that exciting? Now the text is actually wrapping around the object and I didn't have to select anything manually. And of course you can change the spacing of that. So if that's a bit too close, let me just zoom in so you can see what's happening. Right, that's, oh God, that's tiny. A tiny, tiny path around that. Mm -hmm. I can space that out so we have a bit of space. That's great. That's awesome. And let's move out. And now we have text wrapping around the object. Isn't that something? Everyone's, yeah, mind blown. Tanya's loving it. Julia is also shocked. And this just <laughs> saves... Changing people's lives. This just mm -hmm. saves so much time. And of course, this also works with your columns, so you can do two columns, so the text doesn't... At this moment, it just goes from here over to here, and then row by row, you can mm -hmm. use columns, and it would then just go on this left side and then on the right side. Super easy, super great. So one thing that really, hopefully, speeds up your, your workflow. Right, so that And we have is... Catherine who's asking us if we could move to the other side of the screen so she can see a little oh, bit Oh, that more. would be a great option, mm -hmm. you know? My suggestion. <sighs> and I really wanted to but hide that feature time. from you. Well, let's, let's, yeah, do exactly. it. let's do it again. Because why not? No, we're not. Yes, of course oh, we, we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, we will. Of and course we will. Living on the edge, just for you guys. Let's do it again. <laughs> let's delete everything and let's reinsert it. And let's, uh, sure. Let's use this image today. And here we go. And over here. Now I'm looking at the other screen to see if I'm actually in the picture. And I am. And type select subject. Here we go. And text. And whoop. And that. And demo text. And make it larger. Where is it? There we go. Make it larger. Make it larger. Yes. Perfect. And... Ta-da! And of course, just like last time, we can use this menu here to make more space around the subject. You can see it moving. Yay! And of course, ooh, good point, because you can, if you use the path tool, the pen tool, sorry, which is, so select that, use the pen tool, you can just delete points if you don't want them you can move points and of course that will reflect uh, in the text so you can this is absolutely editable you can change anything about that mask you want this is just a quick way for you to create a mask without the need to manually use any selections in InDesign right nice. any questions so far we got there I think we're good everyone's really impressed um yeah, just the usual chat banter over here, you know, Adobe Live Europe, really going crazy as usual. So yeah, loving these updates. I think that was a big highlight from yesterday as well, just accelerating workflow. Um, and yeah, just Sensei. So we've covered some some key points. Doing well, Tim. Ooh, some Enjoy. key points. Isn't <laughs> that great? I'm, <laughs> I'm just reading through that. If Sam, some this is just like Edison, Bob, name man, Minecraft, be a waiver call. Okay. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> I encourage everybody to use just random Ipsums instead of just the lorm the lorm Ipsum. That's also I think that's also Bob Ross Ipsum, isn't there? I don't know that. I always use the Latin one though. Really. Oh, that's so boring. Yeah, but... That's so boring. I know, I know. Okay. Well okay. Sorry, let's, let's let's move uh, let's move to the next one. Let's move to the next one. Should we go to Ooh, yeah, that's great. Let's go back to Photoshop. Should have said yeah, Photoshop's just mind blowing this this yeah this year. It's just so much going because on. Um, so there's what, something, yeah. there's something, people have been asking for, for ages. And I'm not sure if they have even featured that thing in the keynote. Not sure. Uh -huh. So let's take a look. What if I'm a master illustrator, which I'm not, and I will prove that to you later during the stream. Well, let's say I'm a master illustrator, and I really would like to add some color to that t-shirt 
But I have, I hope you all do, I have installed all the Kai Webster brushes, which just as a reminder, you can do so by clicking here, here, and get more brushes. There we go. But what if I just can't find my favorite brush? Bummer, right? I have to search through all of the brushes. What if we could just going. search for brushes? Let's do that. But first of all, let's select the t-shirt because I want to actually demo something. Let's select that one using quick select because just uh, I like this too for that. And let's create a new layer. Let's use B for brush. Go to the presets and look at that. You can now search brushes. Yay. Thank you, Adobe. So I can search for my favorite one, which is uh, Supreme. Yeah, there we go. Kyle's better brushes, Supreme's platter. And now I can pick a cool color and create my... No, oh, that's a bit too small. And let's pick magenta, because why not? Ooh, let's create my CMYK-inspired merch shirt. Oh, <laughs> and let's add some yellow. Ooh, by the way, I could also use the swatches. And you can also search through swatches. So if I want ooh, uh, yellow... And there we go. Now we have all the yellow hues and colors. Well, that's more like green, but you know what I mean. CMYK, yeah, let's add some yellow to the mix. And, ooh, of course, CMYK, that's cyan. So let's add some cyan. There, that is. And, ooh, wow, that's... My eyes are bleeding, again. <laughs> and it's not even Maddie who's joining <laughs> us. And, of course, some black... Are you, prepare, are you preparing her for the next next stream just after this? <laughs> yeah, this is my CMYK-inspired merch Signature. Shirt, available yeah, exactly. now. <laughs> Oh dear. All right. So okay. Tim, let's summarize what we got through so far. We had the Neurofill series. We have the discovery panel and the searchability and Photoshop. We went on to, what did we do? InDesign. Um, Web around <laughs> subject. Wrapping around. So you do pretty well. And Sky, yeah, three, Sky four, replacement. Have said that? Sky replacement. And there are more to come. We still have half an hour left. Well, give or take. So. Throwing all just, the extras, guys. I just quickly want to mention that you can also search through patterns. And mm -hmm. I think you can also search through, let me just check that, gradients. And yes, you can. So look at that. Now you have all your gradients, which, oh, quite a lot. You can now search through all of them. You can add names and no longer have to uh, go through them one by one. Ah, oh, so great. Thanks, Adobe. Okay, cool. So should we go over to the next one? What do you think? Go ahead. All Where right. are we going to next? I think we will go over to Fresco. Oh, wow. Yes. You're really all over the place oh, today, no. Tim. I know. Also, I Fresco. Know. Okay, guys, lower your expectations. We went through the merch talk. And we're now going to Fresco. And <laughs> I know Tim has just... <laughs> what did you mean, Emma? Could you... <laughs> what does that... I mean, you, you do know we have Will later on. who's going to be doing some lettering. Um, so know. you're just set, setting the standard here. I know. So go ahead. Take it away. <laughs> I just have to connect my iPad. So one second, please. Here we go. So I'll go a bit. There we are. The chat. You guys, like, are you all taking notes? Just making sure that, yeah, we're all keeping track of this. <laughs> so, you know, I, I want to do a demo where I mm -hmm. don't really have to draw. I can just move some colors around. But then I thought, actually, when I saw that Edison bulb in that, um, in that uh, hipster Ipsum, I thought, should yeah. I just give it a try? <laughs> I mean, I have my Apple Pencil right here. And I said, I will prove... You're just improvising live now. I, was, I said that I will prove that I'm not an illustrator. And I guess this is about the time. So let's do it. Because I really okay. want to show you some cool features. And only one way to show them is by, uh, to embarrass myself while trying to illustrate. <laughs> yes. So let's create a document. Here we go. And let me just move Fresco over a bit so you can see what is happening. Perfect. I don't have a fancy overlay today. Sorry. You're good. Right. You're good. So, I thought, first of all, I want to really highlight the new cool charcoal brushes, which are here. And they really, look at that. It's like drawing on real paper. Adobe invented paper and pencil. Isn't that something? <laughs> and I thought, ooh, why don't we, or why don't I attempt to draw Edison Bob? And you can, you can already see I'm cranking up the smoothing. <laughs> To hopefully, <laughs> nah, to hopefully create something that's actually 
Who has an idea? How Some real this? artwork being created live right here. And guys, I know you're mentioning this on the chat. Um, Oliver was saying that um, Fresco on iPad is so last year because, yeah, we're on mobile as well with Fresco this year. Um, that was a big update from yesterday. So, um, yeah, you tell me, we're just telling, you know, you're being told that you're a bit old school right now. What do you mean? No, I'm, I'm sure I will show no features. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> but I just want it to huh? use the opacity. Here we go. So let's. Uh, well, that's. A, hang on. Yep, there we go. Let's make that a tiny bit larger. And here we go. Oh dear. So how does it Edison Bob look? I think here we have the socket, mm -hmm. and then I think it just goes around. The, oh God. Oh dear. Oh no. Ooh, nice. Oh God. Okay. Close enough. Right. First part done. Let's move in. Let's lower the smoothing. And let's just, okay, let's create this socket and oh, oh dear. This is... And my iPad crashed. <laughs> this drawing was so bad. Oh. <laughs> my iPad literally crashed. And one thing, this is not fresco. This is a really, really old iPad Pro. It crashes. And I was hoping it doesn't happen on stream. Sam, you're really but taking risks today. Oh, I think, okay. Let's, let's, okay, what shall we do? Let's go to the big cam. Let me just restart it for one second. Oh, no. See, Guys, it's just a chance. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I should have used the other iPad, but I wanted the big one because this is a large one. And, oh. and to be honest, Tim, you're just, yeah, shoot yourself in the foot because Gareth is saying try turning it on and off. Oh, or together off now. And on. Back up entertainment. <laughs> Sean is saying crash and burn. <laughs> oh dear. It's it's actually look at that. See the Apple logo? It's it's really Very crashing. Nice. Oh no. Okay. Oh dear. Let me try to reset that. Reset that. It's it's okay, it's happened before. And in the meantime, why don't we do I have something else to say? Yes, I do have something else we can th we can talk about. <laughs> I'm prepared. Because I really wanted to show you this in fresco. But there are also other apps that have the exact same feature. And I'm, of course, I'm talking about versioning. Because remember that one time where you worked on your, uh, on your document and you, didn't save, uh, and you didn't save all the versions, like version 1, version 5, version 1.5, final, 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 copy, final. Final for real this time. If you ask me one more time to change the client, I will kill you. Final. Exactly. I was going to say this is the perfect client setup, right? Where you're being told. The worst. Yeah. Just, actually, do you mind just, just do you know, that little bit at the bottom? Uh, just, just, just change it. And do you mind? And you're like, I mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so what if, what if we could just, you know, save all those versions? And yes, you can. So let's go over to my screen again, to Photoshop. Here we go. And my iPad is still restarting, Ooh. which is great. <laughs> so this might and be short back stream. on the t-shirt. Yes, back on the t-shirt. So let's say I want to save it. So what I have to do is save as a cloud document. As a cloud document. There we go. That button right here. Let's give it a name. And let's say, ooh, CMYK shirt. And my iPad is back. Just have to log in. Here we go. And save it. And now, under this icon, or under Window Version History, you will see all the latest and greatest versions of your document, which is, for this case, not a lot, since we haven't saved this one yet. But if we were to save it, you would see all the... Hang on, do I have some cloud documents? Maybe. Let's check that out. Um, how about, yeah, this one. Sure, why not? There we go. See, now we can check through all, let me zoom in, all of the different versions from all the days and times. And we can also save versions if we wanted to. And we can go back, we can save them again, edit them, go back to any time we want and hopefully make the client happy. Isn't that great? And of course, this is not just happening in Photoshop. This is also happening in many more other apps. And I was hoping that we could use Fresco to show this. So yeah. I think Fresco is back. Is it? Which I might, Live. I want to reiterate. This is because of my iPad. It's not because of Fresco. Oh. It was crashing before Fresco was installed. So 
this is really an old iPad. So think, we just really wanted to see your drawing skills. I know. Well, we I didn't, just, but you know, um, okay. This was going to be named a fresco stream. Oh, <sighs> dear. Okay, let's tr let's try that again. Oh, God, I have to draw it again. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Right. Chance. Okay. So, oh no, wrong brush. What's happening? Why is it spattering? That is not the way it's supposed to work. Oh, because I have a really large size. Well, that's, that explains it. Here we go. Let's try that again. So over here. You know what? Let's save it now. Right? Just save it now so we can come back to this point at any time. So let's, uh, let's so, smoothing because I need smoothing. And let's try that again. Ooh, because I really want to show you this feature and it's crooked again, but that's okay. Here we go. And now I have to be quick because we don't have much time left. Let's go down with the smoothing. Let's go down with the size and let's try that again. That's where it crashed last time because this was just so terrible. That socket, but that's okay. I will just do my best to be quicker than my iPad and paint that in. That's my rendition of an Edison Bob. Just because we saw that. Very it's, it's getting it's getting better. Yeah, exactly. I'm not I'm not finished yet. Okay, because I wanted to show you, and you know, I will actually fill the background with a bit of gray, as all great artists do. Yes, pixel. Because now I can delete that layer, and we could save again just to make sure. And now, what I want to show you is not my great drawing skills. I promise. But actually, this is it, folks. <laughs> this is it. Stream Thanks for watching, time. everybody. <laughs> no, okay, hang on. I, I think we can just add perhaps at least a filament. Well, greatest filament ever. Thank you very much. But let's just add some shading. And this is what I wanted to show you. So let's go in on a new layer, make it a bit larger. Just add some highlights here. Do, do, do. Some shadows there. Yes. And some even darker shadows over, over here, yes. And now, whereas before, this wasn't possible, but watch this icon right here. It's the smudge tool, yes. So we can now move pixels around with a smudge tool and we can try wow. at least, perhaps this works. I haven't tried this before and I really want to create some sort of metal texture and we can just move those pixels around and hopefully add my rendition of this perfect. Sean is saying stunning. Except I feel like the community is far too kind today. Is yeah, okay? what do you mean? Okay, the next stream will be without Emma. Thank you very much. <laughs> actually, it is not with me, so. <laughs> no, but actually, I just wanted to Beautiful. show you. The new smudge tool, so you can really move pixels around. And the great thing about the smudge tool, even on an old iPad like this, this is the first gen iPad Pro, it's mm -hmm. super performant. You can just, ooh, yeah, I can even move my pencil fast enough to mess it up. Right? No performance issues there. So then I could go ahead, and like I said, if I were an actual illustrator, I would then perhaps draw in some highlights which I definitely won't do right now because we don't have the time for that. So what you're not now seeing is me not drawing in highlights. Around that, this is me not drawing highlights. Watch me as I don't draw highlights because I would just not want to waste time smoothing and smudging pixels because if anybody says you can't draw, you can just tell them I don't care because if you just want to watch some colors, Move around. That's fine. And let's. I would. I would also not add some shadows in the center. So watch me as I not add shadows in the center. And I think I drew on the wrong layer. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. And now watch me as I don't smudge in. Let's make that bigger. Oh, and let's let's use a texture. Why not? Uh, let's use soft shot or soft pastel for that. And let's make it bigger. Look at that. Ooh, look at that texture. Can you see that? Isn't that great? Ah, oh, so good. So watch me as, I, as I'm not smoothing all, out all the different parts and as I'm having fun with this much tool. Ooh, okay. I think you can go now. Oh, I'm having too much fun with that. 
Here we go. Oh, right. fine. I'll just take it from here, Tim. I'll leave you alone. So, guys, <laughs> right. you're in your thing. A second feature. I think we have about 10 minutes left. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Okay. Second feature, because should, let's let's make it a logo. Let's make it a logo. Okay, let's 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 add some white lines. Do, do, do. See? Logo. Are you talk Just about text? Emma. Spoilers. Come on. Right? Logo. <laughs> Isn't that such a great logo? And now let's um let's let's add a logo text, right? Because Emma, right? Every logo Every logo needs some text, Emma. Some text. Emma, it needs text. Text, that's what it needs. Text. I wonder where we're going. Really, I don't know. Honestly. Who knows? I think we need some text. <laughs> but Emma, how... Uh, this is fresco. Time. There's, there, there's no, fres no text to, to type. How can I... Oh, wait. It's a new update. Here we go. Wait time a two. second. Lorem Ipsum. And I think... What should we use? What should it say? Can I can I edit this? Yes, I can. With the tiniest keyboard ever. <laughs> it should say. Any ideas? Any suggestions in the chat? Otherwise, we'll use flugelhorn. Text. That's bizarre. Right, flugelhorn it is. Flu yeah. On. This is you can't even see the keyboard, but giant iPad. Look at that. Tiny keyboard in the corner. Apple, come on. Well, at least it's not obstructing the illustration. Well, that's great. Flugelhorn. Incorporated. Sean is saying Tim's bright idea. My bright idea. Yeah, okay. Too late. Flugelhorn it is. Okay. So, let's change the font of that because Source Sans Pro isn't perhaps the best font. And of course, you do have access to all of the Adobe fonts. You can click on more fonts at the bottom. There we go. You can install more fonts. You can, of course, use your system fonts. But let's just save that for now. Here we go. And let's pick a different font. How about, ooh, I don't know. Well, no. Well, that's just comic sense with extra steps. No. No. Let's use... Oh, God. Yeah, this this one. Fine. Okay, this one. Narrow. Great. Let's get it up. We could even rotate it if we wanted to, which I don't. So let's undo. Move it with my finger and... What and a great look. Which program is this? Is this is Fresco? Adobe Fresco, available on the iPad, on the iPhone, as of yesterday. And, of course, most Windows 10 devices. Like my machine right now, but I can't draw with my mouse. Nor do I with my pencil, as you can clearly see. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, cool. But now, you know, Emma, this logo with the great text, I really want to get some feedback on that. So mm. how could I f get this to my client? And It's just lonely for how, now, isn't it? How could they see this great rendition of the Edison poem? How can I share this to the world? Oh, I know why. I would just... Take my iPad, my crushing iPad, let's say, just to make sure, and, it's, and I will go to the client and I will show them, look, mm. see. Again, I, so uh, old school. And of Not course, the, in, in 2020, you can't go to the client. That, that's not possible. So, how about, oh, not full screen, that's also great. Look at that, full screen. No, how about we can share it? Right? This we is can a big update, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, this is a big update. Yes, indeed, because now we can share the link mm -hmm. if we generate the link. And I probably should have renamed that, but that's okay. Now it's called Untitled, as every document of mine is. So now I have this link. And if you were to type that in, you would actually see this on your very screen right now. But unfortunately, can I? No, I can't. No, I can't really copy it. Mm -hmm. but the other thing, Tim, is that early next year, you'll also be able to invite colleagues to edit in you know, Photoshop, Illustrator, Fresco, Cloud documents. Um, mm -hmm. So working together is going to get easier and easier, um, which is super exciting. So now I would send this to a client. But for this, mm -hmm. let's just pretend that I'm the client and let's use a browser where I'm not in, logged into Adobe, which is this one. Right, this is just a browser where I'm not logged in, so I can paste that link. And now I'm the client. I can say, yes, of course, I enable all cookies. Thank you very much. And I can look at my design. I can move around. Isn't that great? And of course, most important thing, I can add comments. 
So yeah. I can say make the logo bigger. Mm -hmm. Sandrine is saying, I like it. I don't love it. I, I like it. Why is my hovering out Ring the bell. Ooh. Hang on. I like it. I don't love it. Great. Mm. I like where this is going, but let's just start over. Okay, shut up. Right. One of many comments. <laughs> so I've, now I've said, make the logo bigger. Apparently with yep. an apostrophe. Well, that's okay. I can move that. And just say, yep, that is great. And of course, just in case the artist doesn't know what I mean, I can add a pin and say, well, uh, this one. That's the logo, if you didn't catch that. Right, so let's say submit. And of course, since I'm a client, maybe I don't have an Adobe ID. And that's fine. I don't need to because I can just add my name. And let's say my name is... Um, well, Stuart Fickling. <laughs> and continue. And now my comment has been added. And if I go to Fresco, I check out this comment uh, button here and I can actually see make the logo bigger. And of course I can reply and say no. Submit. And then the client in the browser would see one reply, no. <laughs> and then, you made Stuart very happy in the chat, by the way. <laughs> and now I can say, the future. as a client, I can hang on, as a client, as, as, a, okay. as a client, let's try that again. There we go. I need to use my finger. As a client, I can say, ooh, uh, yep, okay, fine, resolve. And it's gone. And we can go over to Fresco and... Just like that, it's gone. And this share for review is available in a whole host of different apps. So I really encourage you to try that out. XD was one of the first ones where, that hap where this happened. And uh, by the way, co-editing in XD, I think that's now a feature, isn't it? It's out of beta. But perhaps we have to wait for we, the XD we'll stream. We'll see more on, yeah, on Thursday, tomorrow. <sighs> right, do we have anything left? Um, I, don't, I, think I don't think that's... Deep breath. I wanted to we show some other cool features, but alas, we don't have the time. I wanted to show the Creative There's Club marketing, so Marketplace. On. Should we just... I know. There is well, the, at least the let's, Marketplace. There's let's live streaming it. as well. There's let's, tons let, going on, yeah. Let's at least Go mention ahead. it so people can know where to look. And we so don't you're have unstoppable. To. Yeah, I know. <laughs> let's go back to Photoshop once again. And under Plugins, Browse Plugins, it will open your Creative Cloud and you can install plugins like feature plugins and of course you can manage them i've already installed one comic kit and then i could use the plugin in my photoshop so much easier right so that's the marketplace and of course there's so much more to the marketplace but we don't have the time to show that right now because this is we about we have to finish the stream now oh we have a couple of minutes left and that's pretty much it but i hope we got you guys buzzing for what's coming up because we have a full program and i think tim we just put you on the spot and you delivered. I mean, I, there was probably way more than five tips in there. I hope you guys caught all of this in the chat. Tips. <laughs> I'm, I'm super excited for the rest of the schedule that's just coming up. Maddie's joining us just after this for a Photoshop uh, session. Schedule's back. And you'll see that we have really, you know, across all of these apps, highlights around education, leveling up your skills, um, collaboration, making the most of the cloud, and new forms of creation. So a lot coming up on 3D, AR, and some really exciting updates. So, yeah, that was a bit of a bonus surprise from you, Tim, covering all of this. Right. What a session. So thank you so much for joining, everybody. Have a wonderful mm -hmm. day. Oh, we will be right back, actually, with the next stream. So stay tuned. Five minutes, we'll take a break, and we'll be right back. So all together now. That's right. us. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye, everyone.